Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Oblivion. Well, Oblivion Walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a Let's Play kind of walkthrough because it's not really Let's Play because I've played this game so much before that it's more of a me showing you what to do than really me going through it for the first time. But anyway, um, I guess what I should tell you is I've actually done quite a bit off camera, um, and I just leveled up so that's cool but yeah as soon as I find a bed I can level up to the next level so what I want to show you guys really quick is don't worry I did not do any quests off camera I made sure to not do any but if you look at my stats I have actually leveled up quite a bit so I'm 56 conjuration that's what I've been working on for the most part and also marksman I'm 37 marksman and that's pretty much all I did and so I'm now level 5 uh, in the last episode I believe I was like level 2 so I'm about to level up to level 6 and also, um, I got this base necklace of personality. That's the best necklace I could find. Nothing else has really changed. Um, I also am using a steel bow instead of whatever I was using in the last video, like a rusty iron bow or something. But anyway, uh, I also saved up 5,000 gold. And I basically grinded 5,000 gold by, you know, going into um, dungeons and killing monsters and looting chests. And I leveled up a bit. And that's just so... Um, the loot I get from monsters will be a little bit more interesting, and also I needed 5,000 gold. Um, I'll explain why in a little bit. I think in the next episode we'll get into what I'm going to do with that gold. Um, but first of all, we're going to continue with the we're going to continue with the Mages Guild. So um, we have to find what's his face, some sort of elf guy, I think. He's dressed in black clothes, and he's going to give us the recommendation for this Mage's Guild in Chadenhall. Oh yeah, she continues the nerd root quest. But, let's May check really quick. Nope, she, I was just checking if she had any higher level um, mortar and pestle or alchemy stuff, but she does not, Bye. unfortunately. Oh, does she have anything to steal here? Soul gems, let's take those. I like soul gems. I always like to stock up on soul gems because they are pretty useful later on in the game. Um, so, maybe he's down here. I'm just looking for the leader of this particular mage's guild that won't stay the leader for very long. Spoiler alert. But, is he down? Where is he? Let me through. Wooden door needs key. Okay, yeah, we go in there later. I guess he must be upstairs. Um, I hope this mage's guild has like an upstairs that we can go to. Just steal those potions really quickly. But it did take a little while to grind the 5,000 gold. I had to go through about 10 dungeons. Um, obviously when you're a higher level, that's not very hard to do at all, make 5,000 gold. But at a lower level, it's actually, um, you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Because all the drops that you get are really crappy. Also, I need to keep an eye out for a certain kind of wine. Uh, if I go to my inventory here, Shadow Banish Wine, that's for a quest. Um, so I need to make sure, if I see any Shadow ba Banish Wine, uh, make sure to collect it. I'm magician. You're not him, are you? Okay, where is this guy that I'm supposed to talk to? I'm not finding him. Gold, Copper Amulet, I'll take those. I swear, he's like an elf dressed in black clothes, and he's not here. I don't know where he is. I think he's hiding from me personally. How about let's do this. Let's wait for a couple hours. Maybe he's like outside or something. Is he back? Nope. Okay. Oh, there he is. I was just about to pause and say I'll come back when I find him, but there he is. Yep, I'm ready. So, what you need to do is get yourself below uh, 150 pounds uh, wait. But first of all, you want to talk to her. I'm and I believe she gives you... Isn't she supposed to give you, like, I a spell or something? I don't know. Good night. Be seeing you. Oh, these people are talking about fines? That must it's be a quest? Okay, I'll do that quest eventually, just not right now. What about you? Are you, are you the one who helps me? I swear I was supposed to talk to her, and she gives me a spell that's gonna help me not die. Let's try this. Every little there we go. Bit helps. As I've said, I just don't feel you don't feel t comfortable talking around Falcar. Okay, let's wait for him to leave. Just a couple hours. Is he gone now? All right, he went downstairs. Good. 
and she gives us a spell that is going to help us um, survive because we have to go into a well, pick up a ring that's very heavy, and it will make you drown um, unless you have a certain amount of weight free. So the spell that she gave us is called Buoyancy. Um, it's feather five points. So basically, I need to drop a whole bunch of stuff outside the well so that I don't weigh very much. So let's go to my inventory. Uh, drop that. Drop that. Drop. We'll drop those. I'm gonna have to drop a lot of crap. Pretty much all my armor. Drop all my alchemy stuff. Yep, and I should be light enough now. All right. Let's go in here and take the ring of burden. And also this buoyancy spell helps you breathe underwater. So in the future, um, every time you want to go underwater or something like that and earn root, that's awesome, uh, you now have a spell that will allow you to do this. And unfortunately this guy dies when you take the ring of burden. He's supposed to. Or maybe he was already dead, I don't know. I swear the last time I did that though he made like sounds like he was dying or something. Anyway, I picked up something that I didn't want, didn't I? Yeah. Sackcloth pants. Goodbye. Not taking you anymore. Is there anything in here? I thought there was like... Oh. I was going to say, I thought there was a little room with a chest in it or something, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, so let's pick up all the crap... Oh. Oops. I forgot. I still have the, the ring of burden on me, so I can't quite pick up these items yet. We have to go turn in the ring of burden first. And then we can uh, pick our stuff back up. I'm afraid. I'll... Oh. Yep, and she just tells us to drop the ring of burden, which we're going to do. Basically, the gist of it is the Falcar guy that gave us the quest. He's actually evil. He was. I don't know how he became the leader of the Mages Guild, but yeah, he is a very bad, evil man. Um, and he basically ran off. And that's just what she was saying. I know I skipped through all the chat dialogue. If you guys don't want me to do that any more in the future, um, just leave in the comments, like, don't skip through the chat, and I won't do it anymore. Um, personally, I'm just not that interested in it. But hey, if you guys are, you know, that's fine. Um, I could bear through it. If other people want to see it, but... Okay. I'm also running very, very low on arrows, so I'm going to need to restock on some of those pretty soon. I used a ton of arrows. Pretty much all I used for combat was arrows because, you know, Marksman is a really, really slow skill to train, and I want to be able to train it up a bit. But we have to go down in the basement and into this room that required a key earlier. They let me pass the table. I had to pause the video to sneeze because otherwise all everyone down here who everyone watching the video who was using headphones would have just lost their hearing for quite a while. Oh, lockpick. I'm gonna take that. But anyway, we have to break into these drawers. I'm almost out of lockpicks. Please don't fail this. Oh my goodness, I'm down to two lockpicks. One lockpick. Can I do it? Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't clutch it. That's okay though. I have this, so I'll be fine. So we just take those black soul gems, which is a little bit suspicious because um, black soul gems are filled with human souls, so apparently that guy has been killing humans and filling his soul gems with them. So that's a little bit unnerving. Um, where is... is she upstairs? Whatever, the person that we need to talk to. We'll just go interrupt her dreams. And let her know that we found some it? black soul gems. What's this? Oh, all, right. all right. So our recommendation from her is complete, and now it's time to move on to the next mages guild that we want to go to. I'm just trying to speed through this as quickly as possible because I just did the recommendation quest not long ago, and I'm not all that interested in them. And I just kind of want to get them over with. So I'm sorry. Um, Leowin. We're going to do the Leowin Mages Guild now. Come to think of it, I need to remember where the Leowin Mages Guild is. I think it's like at the very south of the city. Not completely sure. Leowin is one of the bigger cities. I mean, it's not as big as the Imperial City, obviously. But, um, I think it's... I want to say Leowin is the biggest city that's not the Imperial City. I'm not completely 100% sure on that. But I'm pretty sure. Anyway, all the rest of them are pretty small. 
So let's go to the Mage's Guild here if we can find it. Here we are. That wasn't too bad. I actually just completely guessed there. I had no idea that that's where the Mage's Guild was. And we are going to have to wait a couple hours for everyone to wake up. And I think this is the one that has the... you have to go recover a staff. Pretty sure that is this quest. That display case needs a key. Let's steal this greater soldier. I'm surprised people just keep stuff like that laying around. Oh, is he going to give me a quest? Cool. I wasn't even looking for a quest from him, but hey. I got a quest. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be doing that quest right now, but in the future... Ooh, Skuma. Okay. <laughs> Skuma, if you don't know, it's... Um, I believe it's like the strongest drug that there is in the land of Cyrodiil. Or, I mean, whatever. I don't know what the entire land is, but I know the country is called Cyrodiil. Okay. Am I getting to get another quest? Oh, never mind. This is the Leowin recommendation. So what am I supposed to do? Is this the, or? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I thought that this one was the one where I have to get someone's staff back, but I guess it's not. Yes. There. Oh, this is the steers steers stone one. I remember that one. Okay. You too. So we have to talk to. Um, what's his face? There's this ugly looking guy up here who also turns out to be evil, because everyone turns out to be evil in the end, it really feels like it. Um, I don't know where he is. But yeah, he, later on in the quest he tries to kill us, but we have to talk to him. I suggest. It's not this guy, but we're going to talk to him anyway about the Seer Stone. Yep, I didn't think he'd be able to help us. He's probably upstairs somewhere. One thing I do need to mention is my commentary probably isn't going to be super involved. Um, and the reason for that is like I'm not going to be talking constantly. That's what I'm trying to say. And the reason before that is because um, unlike when I normally make videos and I just have to, you know, talk for 10 minutes or whatever, um, when I make these kind of videos, I'm usually talking for up to a couple hours on end and it can get uh, pretty rough on your throat where is this guy is he like in the basement or something he must be oh I'm standing on a chandelier that's kind of awesome he must yeah he must just be down in the basement I didn't know there was a basement this is a huge mages guild this has got to be the biggest one unless you count the imperial city mages guild as a mages guild um okay there we are. He's got to be down here. If he isn't down here, I have no clue where he is. Yep, I saw a green dot. So, there he what is, this I guy. Do? Who turns out to be evil. Alright. Yep, I'm going to have to kill you later on, but we're not going to go into that. But anyway, um, I'm excited to f actually like finish this game because it's been a while since I actually... Um, Oh, I don't talk to you? Okay. Yes. It's been a while since I like started a series and actually finished it. No, most of the time when I start series, I don't finish them. That's not because I don't want to or anything. But the main reason for that is because um, usually I get like really, really, I guess, discouraged. Uh, and I just don't want to do it anymore. Or I get really um, involved in doing something, another kind of videos or another kind of series. But Oblivion is like one of the few games that I just truly love. Um, and I absolutely know that I could play this game for a very long time and not get bored of it. There's a few other games like that. There's really not many. Like, even Skyrim, I wouldn't classify as one of those games that I absolutely love. But this game is definitely one of them. Not many games like that. Age of Empires 2 is definitely another one. <laughs> love that game to death. We found another Nurn route. Uh, and don't worry, I'm not going to make you guys uh, watch my entire trek all the way to Fort Blue Blood. Because that's... That's going to take a while. So anyway, I'll resume when I get there. Alright, so we're almost at Fort Blue Blood. And I guess for whenever I do finish this game, um, the next game that I play is definitely going to be another one of these games that I really, really love. Um, and I'm the next time I do a game, a walkthrough or whatever you want to call it, 
I'm definitely gonna have um, a vote on it. So I'm gonna like, I guess, let you guys know from a few options of what are some games that I could do a walkthrough of and see what people want me to do. So one of them will definitely be um, Skyrim, and another one will be Morrowind. And for those of you that are a bit younger and don't know what Morrowind is, uh, that was actually the game before this one in the Elder Scrolls series, so the Elder Scrolls 3, uh, and I believe Morrowind came out in like 2002 or something like that, so it's a pretty old game. Uh, the graphics aren't great, the gameplay and the story are spectacular. Well, gameplay is kind of spectacular, it's hard to explain. The gameplay isn't great because, like, it's a bit clunky just because, you know, it's such an old game that the controls are a little bit wonky, you know, and the animations between monsters and stuff is a little bit off, but, um, the actual storyline and the quests and just the thought put in that game are absolutely amazing. And if you think Skyrim was a deep game, or, you know, if you're, I guess, a little bit older or just like, don't mind the graphics so much if you played Oblivion and you think Oblivion was a deep game, you have no idea until you've played Morrowind. That game had so much in it. It's absolutely very rich. Just a bazillion quests, a humongous land to explore. Like, the land of Morrowind, I would say, is probably three times as big as Oblivion. And it can take quite a while to, like, walk from one side of a of Cyrodiil to the other. I shouldn't call it Oblivion, because Oblivion is... Yeah, it's the name of the game. It's not the name of the land, though. The name of the land is Cyrodiil. Um, but anyway... So, the gist of this thing is we got to go to the end of the this dungeon and find, uh, I guess, the Philosopher's Stone... And normally I would be sneaking around using archery, but I'm out of arrows right now. Well, I'm out of iron arrows, and I don't want to use my steel arrows, because I only have like 20 of them, so there's not much point. I would just run out really fast anyway. So I will just use my blade a little bit. I might as well, because, I mean, blade is one of my major skills, so I have to train it eventually. Chest. Potions. Running pretty low on health, but I should be fine. There's a lot of enemies around here. I'm su almost surprised. For some reason, Mar Marauder Battle Mages, even though they're like Battle Mages, you know, and you'd expect them to be, I guess, a little bit mage-like, they're not, because they don't drop any um, scrolls or potions or anything. Personally, my favorite uh, monsters to fight are... Is this a skill book? No, it's not. My favorite monsters to fight are um, s s Conjurers. That I was going to say Summoners, but I was like, no, that's not right. Conjurers are my favorite, and that's because... Everyone that you kill drops like three potions and three scrolls, so they can be a pretty good way to make some money, um, depending on what kind of potions and scrolls you get as drops, but, you know, at higher levels they can drop some pretty good stuff. But of course, um, at higher levels also the regular armor, regular monsters you kill drop stuff, like uh, Daedric, you know, at really high levels they drop Daedric, but uh, even at lower levels they'll drop a lot of, I guess, dwarven and stuff, and glass stuff. Um, but anyway, I digress. Power attack. Oh, good. I was... What, what, what do you call it? Stumbled. I don't know. Like when an enemy hits you and your character freezes up a little bit. This guy's a really big sword. And my block skill is really low, so I should probably train it a bit. Stagger, that was the word I was searching for. I like how he has this huge, like, iron cuirass on plate body, whatever you want to call it iron shirt, and then he's got like, I don't know, cloth pants, or whatever you want to call that. This guy's tough, man. What, how much, oh, that only does four damage, goodness gracious. He had a lot of health, though. He's just a regular marauder, so I don't know why he had so much health. Could be because he was wearing an iron caress. Gives him a little bit better defense. The guys with daggers are really easy to kill because they can't block very well. I think you can block with a dagger, but, I mean, it's just not a good idea. You can't block very well. So, maybe this guy will drop some arrows. That would be nice. I could definitely use some. A whole bunch of Daedric arrows would be great. <laughs> steel arrows. Hey, that's better than iron, so I'm not complaining. And also a steel bow. That does four damage. Um... Mine does 4 damage as well. I was going to say, I thought mine did 3 damage. Mine used to do 3 damage, but I leveled up a bit. And obviously, as you level up, the um, weapon damages increase. So, anyway. Very easy lock, really. 
I failed on a very easy lock. That's embarrassing. Alright, so also, um, I'm going to try to keep these episodes a little bit longer. Uh, I initially was going to say 15 minute episodes, but the thing is, these things take a real long, long time to save and render. Um, so with that being said, I'd rather just like do, I guess, 30 minute episodes. I guess it really just depends on what I feel like doing that day, or how long I feel like playing, but um, I think a general guideline is going to be... Um, goodness really uh, the general guideline is gonna be about like 25 minute episodes or something and that's gonna be pretty rough on my PC because obviously I have to uh, when fraps saves video files they're quite large um, so a 20 minute gameplay that's usually like 12 14 gigs of uh, video AVI file um, so that's a pretty hefty file right there considering I don't have the biggest hard drive I have a 1.5 terabyte hard drive so it's it's decent but it's not um, something that I can just you know record forever and never even worry about I think I, it's a 1.5 terabyte hard drive I'm looking at the side of my computer now it has some of the specs on it yeah so I do definitely have some space like my old computer it was I think 400 gigabyte hard drive or like 350 gigabyte hard drive but it was a really really old computer so oh this is a marauder warlord no wonder he's putting up more of a fight um, he's also got a nice steel claymore there the thing is with two-handed weapons I've I've played like the Elder Scrolls so much I have played through Morrowind and I've played this game like a million times and I played Skyrim so much but I've never ever been a two-handed character. Like, I've never been a heavy weapons guy, you know, I've never used Claymore, never used a Warhammer or anything. And the reason for that is they just take up so much space, it's like you can't pick up drops. He has a steel shield there. Huh. I don't know if that's worth picking up, but it's probably a lot better than my iron shield. Oh, my rusty iron shield is four steel shield is five it only weighs two pounds more so yeah I'll take it I was gonna say if it weighs a ton more it's probably not worth taking but it doesn't weigh much more at all alright so a slight upgrade here it looks I guess a bit cooler as well looks aren't all that important to me alright so um where to from here can I go down this path I know this is not the way I'm supposed to be going, but I just want to see if there's like a chest down here or anything. Oh no, never mind, that's the way out. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the way out, but yeah, that leads back to Fort Blue Blood and like that gate that you can open. But here, I believe, is where we fight the boss of this dungeon, who's not really much of a boss. But yeah, that evil guy that I told you about in the Mages Guild, I was like, you know what, this guy's going to turn out evil. And you know what, I wasn't kidding. Alright, let's dispatch of these imps really fast. Holy crap, my blade skill is so weak. I swear I do more damage with my bow and arrow than I do with my blade. But that's pretty pathetic, considering my marksman skill is a lot lower. you have anything good? Ooh, an amulet found the amulet Dagal needed. I have no lockpicks. Are you kidding me? Frustrating. So when's this guy going to show up? I'm just trying to loot here really quickly. Okay. Nothing interesting in there. Oh, there he is. Sup, man? Yeah, yeah, I know. You want the amulet. Whatever. Again, you know, just let me know if you want to see the quest dialogue and you don't want me to skip through it like that, the sooner I ask, the better, because I'm already on episode two, so, you know, I've already skipped through quite a bit of quest dialogue, but I'm happy to uh, keep that dialogue if you, or, I mean, you know, just, I guess, be a little less impatient and listen to what the characters are saying if that's what you guys would like to see. So, repair, oh, I'm out of repair hammers, typical... I always seem to be out of repair hammers. I should have named this character out of repair hammers because that's pretty much what I feel like most of the time. Uh, on my first uh, time that I was playing through this game, when I got, you know, when I, I had the fateful time where I got through 20 episodes of Oblivion and ended up restarting because of audio problems, um, 
I bought like 60 repair hammers and I went through them in hardly any time at all, so. You just go through them so fast. Anyway, that's enough time talking about repair hammers. Luckily, we don't have to walk back to the Mage's Guild again, so it's just a quick little teleport there. And we will hand in this amulet and hand in the quest. And I think we can do one more Mage's Guild recommendation quest. Since I did say that I want to do slightly longer-ish episodes, even though my computer might die uh, trying to render this video. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll make the best of it. So, anyway, I really need some more arrows, and I really need some more repair hammers. Um, I'll try to remember to do that off-camera. Uh, I don't know if I will, but I'll try my best. Okay, I also want to get the armor skill up as fast as possible and try to get it to level 50 so I can start wearing enchanted armor. Because it's just a humongous pain having to, like, go to a repair guy and pain him. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is. It's not even that expensive to pay to repair your armor, but there's just something about it that just feels wrong. Paying someone to repair your armor. Okay. Give me money. Give me money. Never mind. That works too. I don't need money that bad. I have my 5,000 gold, and next episode, uh, you guys will see uh, what I'm going to use that for. And the reason I'm not telling you yet is because I want you guys to watch the next episode. And this way, you have something to look forward to. Yes. The well-kept secret of what I need the 5,000 gold for will be revealed in the next episode. And if you played this game a lot... Um, you probably might know what that 5,000 gold is for, because there's only one thing in this game that costs exactly 5,000 gold and is incredibly useful, so if you know what that is, kudos to you. But otherwise, I will keep you eagerly waiting in anticipation, and you will watch the next episode out of curiosity. But anyway, enough self-promotion. Let's, uh... Yeah, this is the one where you have to... No, not you. I need to talk to your leader. Take me to your leader. This is the one where you have to um, get a staff. Is there a decent calcinate or novice? Is this novice? Novice. Is this crap all novice? Novice. Novice. Typical. Ah! I don't want novice crap. I want to find like a better calcinator and alembic and however you pronounce them. I don't really know. I don't really care. I just want them. Okay. So yeah, there's some dude who's like harassing this chick. And yep, that's pretty much this quest. And you have to get her staff back or something like that. We have to wait a bit longer. Typical. And I think this is actually the School of Conjuration here, but I can't spend any gold. I want to, Hello, but guys. I can't. Are you the leader? Oh, yeah, you give me a quest, but you're... Are you the leader? If you huh. want, you'll need... Okay, I guess you are the leader. That's just... It's weird having an Argonian as the leader of the Mage's Guild. It feels wrong, but... Whatever. So, we have to persuade some dude to stop harassing Can this girl and give her staff back. Yes. Give back the staff. Okay, so instead, I guess he doesn't Take want care. to give back the staff, so what we're going to do is... Can I help you? Boom. Give back the staff. So basically what that was is it's a scroll um, that it's basically convinces on. him yeah, to give back the staff, and he doesn't... And if he doesn't want Any to do it... Um, it's too bad. I guess this scroll is like a truth potion or something. Alright, he sold the major staff, so what we gotta do is we gotta go to the Imperial City and buy it back. And unfortunately, I do have to spend some gold from this part. In this part. So hopefully, I can still have 5,000 gold by the start of next episode. We'll try our best. And I know for a fact I also have to um, it, spend some gold to bribe this guy to sell us the staff, so hopefully that's not too expensive either. I could play the personality minigame. I'll show you guys the person or personality minigame. I don't even know what it's called. The speechcraft minigame. Hey. It trains the skill speechcraft. Yeah. I don't know what the minigame itself What's is called. It's the most retarded thing in the world. Good day, okay, we'll see. This Say is the guy we gotta to talk to, right? So this is the personality minigame. That's what I'm going to call it. 
this basically gets his disposition better and how it works I don't know oh, but basically you go like this that's really too much. Oh, and if that's you're lucky good. or if you have any clue what you're doing oh, that's um, his oh, disposition that's will get higher but if you're not retarded you're like just gonna that. bribe him don't be sick. But anyway, this is how you train your speechcraft skill. I'm not even kidding. You play this retarded minigame, and that is what trains your speechcraft skill. So his disposition is really low now, obviously, it's at zero. So I have to bribe him, and now I can buy the mage's staff. Okay, so I have the mage's staff back, and I'm hoping that the person in Bravil reimburses me so I can still have 5,000 gold and if not I'm just gonna have to I guess sell some crap I do have some What's potions and stuff I could sell so it's all good I can alright guys and this is the part of the video where my microphone got deleted but anyway the video footage was almost over anyway so it's not that big of a deal and also I can just do um, post commentary which works as well so anyway, I guess what I'm doing here is going to hand in the quest. I think that's what I'm doing. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm going to hand in the quest. Um, and I'm also, I guess, kind of telling you guys about what I was going to do in the next episode. But anyway, I basically just needed to sell a few things so I can get back up to 5,000 gold. And then I guess I'll reveal what I'm going to do in the next episode because it's not really even a big deal. I'm going to try to get the Anvil House. So yeah. for the Anvil House, there is a quest that you need to do for that. Um, but to initially buy the house, it's 5,000 gold. And after that, it turns out the house is... You'll see in the next episode. But there's something wrong with the house itself, so you have to do a little bit of a quest. Um, and after you do that quest, you get like a fully furnished house, and it's pretty big, and it's pretty nice, and it only costs 5,000 gold, and it's probably my favorite house in the game. Um, so yeah, the only two Mages Guild recommendation quests I have left are the Skingrad one and the Anvil one. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get to those next episode, I don't know if I'll have enough time to do um, all three quests there. But I don't think the Anvil and the skin grad recommendation quests take very long so I might be able to do all of them hey uh, we'll see I'll try my best to get around to them all but anyway that's about all for this video so yeah stay tuned you know the link to the playlist for this whole walkthrough is gonna be in the description and uh, yeah I'll be off until the next episode so farewell <laughs>